Good evening, I'm Fox 35 Storm Team Meteorologist Brooks Garner with your forecast tracking the tropics on this Monday, September the 6th. I'm tracking a major hurricane in the Atlantic, no threat to Florida, but a disturbance in the Gulf of Mexico that does present a threat to our region later this week, although a very minor one. There's a 30% chance that a tropical wave it could become a depression as it works north and eastward, affecting north central Florida directly, but bringing an indirect effect of some numerous showers and thunderstorms to central Florida. Could even be some flash flooding issues with that. But I was looking at the long range models and almost all of them keep this as an open wave. It's worth watching those. There's a possibility something could develop later this week, but again, nothing major. Meanwhile, Larry is anything but minor. This thing is a big annular hurricane. It's called annular because of its shape, its size, its characteristics. It basically looks like a giant donut. We'll talk about that in a second. First off though, this is the low pressure system I'm tracking right here in the central Gulf of Mexico. A little bit of a spin there. As it heads north and eastward, it could develop into something, maybe a closed low, maybe a tropical depression approaching the Florida Panhandle on Thursday, but pushing a bunch of moisture into Tampa Bay and into the Orlando region late this week. It'll then cross into the Atlantic now, up here on the top of the screen, that would be a departing Hurricane Larry. Larry right now has winds of 120 miles an hour. I called it an annular hurricane because that's the sort of scientific term for it, if you will. It looks like a giant donut. And what this means is that it's very slow to develop any further. Like there won't be any rapid intensification because the eye is simply too wide, but it's also a very efficient wind maker. Very, very efficient. So this thing's pumping out a bunch of swell. By the way, Bermuda, about a thousand miles to its northwest. It's going to take a track generally toward Bermuda before making a sharp turn, safely avoiding that island, but pushing a bunch of swell, not just into Bermuda, but also into Florida, where by the end of this week, we could see a five to eight foot swell impacting our beaches uh, on a latitude north of the Bahamas. So really from Vero Beach north through Jacksonville. All right, the track of Larry keeps it as a major hurricane as it approaches Bermuda, and then it weakens, making that curve into the open Atlantic Ocean late this week. So no direct threats, but the rip current risk could be significant on our area beaches. Surfers are excited. This is going to be a big swell coming in the first of the season, certainly as far as some head high to overhead wave breaks. But if you're an inexperienced swimmer, it is advised and probably honestly urged that you stay out of the water late this week for your safety. Always swim near guarded areas unless you absolutely know what you're doing. Better yet, have a surfboard, know how to use it. For the Fox 35 Storm Team, I'm meteorologist Brooks Garner. Be sure to download our Fox 35 Storm Team app for all the latest information. It's free, it's a great download. Also check us out on YouTube, Fox 35 Orlando. Catch content you may have missed and live weather streams. Thanks for watching.